One thing American Horror Story is known for is its references and easter eggs, whether it's referencing classic horror films, pop culture, or itself. And this year's AHS Delicate Part 1 was no exception, so let's take it episode by episode as I point out all of the references that I noticed this season. First of all, there are some reused character names this season which don't really mean anything, but I'd be remiss if I didn't point them out. There's Talia's partner Theo, who shares a name with one of the main characters of last year's AHS NYC, Theo Graves. Then there's also Oz, who in Delicate is Anna and Dex's dog, but Oz is also the name of Allie and Ivy's son in Colt. And speaking of Ivy from Colt, there's another Ivy in Delicate, as Cara Delevingne claims to be a nurse named Ivy when she gives Anna her ultrasound in episode 2. AHS Delicate's title sequence is packed full of potential references as well. This year's title sequence seems to pull similar imagery from some of the title sequences of AHS past. For instance, the snake imagery seems very reminiscent of the snake imagery in Apocalypse. Also, the shots in Delicate's title sequence featuring candles also feel very similar to the candles in Apocalypse. The Delicate title sequence also features a baby with black claws, which of course we now know is a reference to Queen Mary's child in episode 4, but it also harkens back to the Apocalypse marketing campaign, which used a lot of images of a baby with black claws. The season 1 episode of American Horror Stories, entitled Ball, shares a lot of similarities with Delicate so far, with the characters of Liv and Matt dealing with very similar IVF and relationship struggles as Anna and Dex are. And also the title sequence for Ball is similarly themed around the colors red, and there's also goat imagery in that as well, spiders, and flowers. Back to American Horror Story Delicate's title sequence, it also features some goat imagery which is a reference to the goats that often appear alongside the bird women featured in this season, but it's actually the third AHS title sequence to feature the animal after AHS Coven and AHS Apocalypse. And the last reference to another season that I caught in the title sequence is the imagery of blood going down a sink drain, which feels very similar to the title sequence of American Horror Story Cult. American Horror Story Delicate is based on the book Delicate Condition by Danielle Valentine, and the title sequence also features a reference to the book, specifically the shot of the flower being splattered with blood, which is definitely a reference to the cover of the book. American Horror Story's marketing team also released a poster which resembles the book cover as well. In episode 2, we get a small cameo from Zachary Quinto, who previously had larger roles in Murder House, Asylum, and NYC. Also in episode 2, Anna circles the day that she can take a pregnancy test on the calendar, and the day is September 20th, which is also the day that AHS Delicate premiered its first episode. In that same episode, Siobhan gives Anna an archival dress which she says is the same one that Madonna wore to the 1991 Oscars. Siobhan warns Anna that she does not want to rip it, which may be a tongue-in-cheek reference to Kim Kardashian infamously damaging an archival Marilyn Monroe dress when she wore it to the Met Gala. Anna and Siobhan also sing Sooner or Later by Madonna in this scene, which is a reference to the performance that Madonna did at that very Oscar ceremony. Later at the hospital, Anna meets Dr. Saperstein, which is a reference to the doctor from Rosemary's Baby, who is also named Dr. Saperstein. Similarly, Dr. Hill is also the name of a doctor in Rosemary's Baby, only this is an easter egg that originated in the book delegate condition as Dr. Hill's name originates from the book, but Dr. Saperstein's name was changed from Dr. Crawford in the book to Dr. Saperstein in the show. Delicate Condition and AHS Delicate both are clearly taking a lot of inspiration from the 1967 novel as well as the 1968 film Rosemary's Baby, and this is not new for American Horror Story. Season 1's Murder House has some substantial references to Rosemary's Baby, as well as, like I said, the season 1 episode of American Horror Stories entitled Ball. In episode 3, we get a satanic tunnel with 
Ave Satanus written on the walls, which is very reminiscent of the satanic storyline in American Horror Story Apocalypse. This episode also introduces us to the tunnels under Talia's Hampton's house, which may or may not be real, but nonetheless they feel similar to Ryan Murphy's Netflix show The Watcher, as well as last year's horror gem Barbarian. In those tunnels in American Horror Story Delicate, we also see a ton of jars containing fetuses, which is very similar to the base of the murder house when Charles Montgomery was inhabiting it. And in episode 4, we get that flashback to Queen Mary the first childbirth. Historically, Queen Mary has the nickname of Bloody Mary, which may be the show making a roundabout reference, not only to the urban legend that some fans have been wanting American Horror Story to cover for quite some time now, but also the season 2 episode of Horror Stories entitled Bloody Mary. And there you have it, those are all of the easter eggs and references that I found in American and Horror Story Delicate Part 1, but be sure to let me know any that I miss and I will include them if I end up doing this again after Part 2 drops. What are your thoughts on the season so far? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more horror content coming soon. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.